Alright, next up I'm going to show you guys my Paramount Laserdisc. Starting off here, I have is a Paramount Home Video Laserdisc release for The War of the Worlds, which is a 1953 film released by Paramount Pictures. So, um, yep, there's the front and there's the back right here. Now, this Laserdisc is actually standard play, so... Yeah, but anyways, let me pull the disc out, and there it is right there. So, yep, that's the Paramount Laserdisc release for The War of the Worlds. So, um, yep, but, um, this is actually a, a 1990, uh, I think it's 93 reprint Laserdisc release for War of the Worlds. So, yep. Okay, moving on. Next up I have right here is a... Paramount Home Video Laserdisc release for Dragon Slayer, released in 1981 by Paramount Pictures and Walt Disney Productions. So, um, yeah, but anyways, there's the front and there's the back. And this is extended play Laserdisc. So, yeah. Anyways, let me pull the disc out. And there it is, right there. So, yep, that's the Paramount Home Video Laserdisc release for Dragon Slayer. Alright. And next up I have right here is a Paramount Home Video Laserdisc release for Footloose, released in 1984 by Paramount Pictures. So, yep, there's the front and the back. And this is Extended Play Laserdisc. So, Yep. And there's the disc right here. So, yep, that's the Paramount Laserdisc release for Footloose. Alright, next up I have right here is Fatal Attraction, released in 1987 by Paramount Pictures. So, yep, there's the front and there's the back right here. And this is an extended play laser disc. So yeah. And there's the disc itself right here. So yep, that's the Paramount laser disc release for Fatal Attraction. Alright, and next up I have right here is a Paramount laser disc release for Ghost, released in 1990 by Paramount Pictures. And this is a widescreen edition laser disc release and it's also extended play so yep there's the front and there's the back of it right here all right and let me open this up so that you guys can check this out it's pretty cool okay and let me pull out a disc And there it is, right there. So, yep, that's the Paramount Laserdisc release for Ghosts. So, yep. Alright, now I'm going to show you guys my Fox Laserdisc. Starting off with the three magnetic video Laserdiscs that I own. The first one I have right here is a movie called West Side Story, released in 1961 by... United Artists, so, um, yep, there's the front, and there's the back right here, and this is an extended play Laserdisc, so, yep, let me pull this out, and there it is right there, so, yep, that's the magnetic video Laserdisc release for West Side Story, okay. Next up I have right here is the Magnetic Video Laserdisc release for The Omen, released in 1976 by 20th Century Fox. So, yep, there's the front, and there's the back right there. And this is also extended play Laserdisc. So, yep, and there's the disc right there. So yep, that's the Magnetic Video Laserdisc release for The Omen. Right? And next up I have right here is 
the magnetic video Laserdisc release for all that jazz, released in 1976 by 20th Century Fox and Columbia Pictures. So, um, yeah, but anyways, there's the front, and there's the back right there, and this is Extended Play Laserdisc. disc out, and there it is, right there, yes, right, so that's the magnetic video Laserdisc release for all that jazz, alright, now moving on, next up I have right here is a Fox video Laserdisc release for Miracle on 34th Street, released in 1947 by 20th Century Fox, and this is actually the um, colorized version of the movie, which is pretty cool. So, um, yeah, but anyways, there's the front. And there's the back right here. And this is also extended play Laserdisc. So, yep. Yeah. Let me pull this out. And there's the disc right there. So, yep, yeah, that's the Fox, the Fox Video Laserdisc release for Miracle on 34th Street, the original. Alright. And next next one I got right here is a Fox Video Laserdisc release for Kashmusha, the Shadow Warrior, released in 1980 by 20th Century Fox. And this is this is a special widescreen edition Laserdisc release, so yep, that's pretty cool. So there's the front. And here's the back right here. And this is also extended play Laserdisc. So, yeah, but let me open this up so that you guys can see this inside look. So, yeah. All right, but anyways, let me pull out a disc. Show it off. And there it is, right there. So, yep, that's the Fox Video Laserdisc release for Kajmusha, the Shadow Warrior. See ya? Alright. Moving on, next up I have right here is a CBS Fox Video Laserdisc release for Cocoon, released in 1985 by 20th Century Fox. So, yep, there's the front. And there's the back right here. And this is Extended Play Laserdisc release. So, and here's the Laserdisc itself. So, yep, that's the CBS Fox video released for Cocoon. Alright, and next up I got right here is a Fox video Laserdisc release for Miracle on 34th Street, the 1994 remake. So, um, yep, there's the front and there's the back right here. And this was released by 20th Century Fox, just like the original, so, um, yep, and this is a widescreen edition Laserdisc release, and this is also extended play, so, yep, but anyways, here's the disc itself. So, yep, that's the Fox video Laserdisc release for Miracle on 34th Street, the 1994 remake, so, yep. Okay, and last up, I'm going to show you guys the Warner Brothers and New Line laser discs that I have. So, yep, yeah, well, anyways, this one I have right here is a Warner Home Video laser disc release for Stanley Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange, released in 1971 by Warner Brothers. So, um, yep, there's the front, and there's the back right here. And this is an extended play Laserdisc release, so, yep, but anyways, there's the Laserdisc right there. So, yep, that's the Warren Home Video Laserdisc release for A Clockwork Orange. Okay, and next up I have right here is a Warner Home Video Laserdisc release for Superman 2, released in 1980 by Warner Brothers Pictures. Now, I also own the... Warner Home Video clamshell release for 
Superman 1 right here. So, yep. But anyways, this is Superman 2, the laser disc. Here's the front and the back right here. A and this is an extended play laser disc. So, yep. And there's the laser disc right there. So, yep, that's the Warren Home Video laser disc release for Superman 2. Right? And next up I have right here is the Warner Home Video Laserdisc release for National Lampoon's Vacation, released in 1983 by Warner Bros. Pictures. So, yeah, this is the, the first film in the Vacation series. There's this one, there's European Vacation, Christmas Vacation, Vegas Vacation, and, and, and that new Vacation movie that recently came out, which, which I actually got a chance to see and that that one was pretty good so um yeah it, it, it's now on blu-ray if you guys want to check that one out so um yeah but anyways here's the front and there's the back right here and this is extended play laser disc so yeah but anyways there's the disc right there so yep that's the warren home video laser disc release for National Lampoon's Vacation. Alright. Okay, next up I got right here is a Warner Home Video Laserdisc release for Excalibur, released in 1981 by Orion Pictures. So, um, yeah, well, anyways, here's the front. And there's the back right there. And this is an extended play Laserdisc release. So, Anyways, there's the disc itself. So, yep, that's the Warner Home Video Laserdisc release for Excalibur. Okay, next up I have right here is a Warner Home Video Laserdisc release for Daffy Duck's Quack Busters, which this is a, a Looney Tunes Laserdisc. So, yep, there's the front and there's the back right here. And this is an extended play Laserdisc. So, yeah. But anyways, there's the disc itself. So, yep, yeah, that's the Warner Home Video Laser Disc release for Daffy Duck's Quack Busters. And next up I have right here is a Warner Home Video Laser Disc release for True Romance, released in 1993 by Warner Bros. Pictures. So, um, yep, yeah, there's the front, and there's the back of it right here. Now, Sites 1 and 2 are extended play, while Site 3 is standard play, which is kind of strange, but, you know, it's good for what it is, but anyways, there's the Laserdisc right there. So, yep, that's the Laserdisc release for True Romance. Alright, and next up I have right here is a Lorbar home video Laserdisc release for Action Jackson, released in 1988 by Lorimar Motion Pictures. Now, um, this Laserdisc was um, released under Image Entertain Entertainment, just like my suspect Laserdisc. So, um, yeah, well, anyways, here's the front, and there's the side right here. And this is an extended play Laserdisc, so, yeah. And there's the laser disc right there. So, yep, that's the Lorimar Home Video laser disc release for Action Jackson. Alright, and next up I have right here is a New Line Home Video laser disc release for Deep Cover, released in 1992 by New Line Cinema. So, yep, but anyways, there's the front and there's the back. And this disc was also released under Image Entertainment. So, yep. And, and this is extended play, Laserdisc. So, yeah, but anyways, there's the disc itself. So, yep, that's the new line Laserdisc release for Deep Cover. Right, next up I have right here is the new line Laserdisc release for 
Jim Carrey's The Mask, released in 1994 by New Line Cinema. So, yep, and, and this is the widescreen special edition Laserdisc release. So, yep, there's the front and there's the back right here. And this was also released under Image Entertainment, this Laserdisc. And um, this Laserdisc is actually in standard play. So, yep. But anyways, there's the disc right there. So, yep, that's the laser disc release for the mask. Alright, and the last laser disc that I have to show off to you guys is the new line laser disc release for Austin Powers International Man of Mystery, released in 1997 by New Line Cinema. So, yep, there's the front and the back and this laser disc was released under image entertainment so yep and this is a extended play laser disc so yeah but anyways there you go. here's the disc itself so yep that's the laser disc release for austin powers international man of mystery so, yep, that's pretty much it for my entire Laserdisc collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I said early on in the video, I, I will get my, um, my vacation video up sometime soon. Like, probably towards the end of the week so that you guys can see all the different clips that I shot during my, um, trip to Puerto Rico last month. So, um, yeah, but anyways, this is Film Phoenix A2 signing off, and I will see y'all later. Peace.